Do you ever wonder if your little buddy, might be feeling a bit down? Let's face it. Our cockatiels can't exactly tell us how they're feeling with words. But fear not, because in this compilation video, we're going to be exploring some key signs, that your cockatiel might be unhappy, stressed out, or even experiencing something called seasonal affective disorder, which is basically the avian version of the winter blues. Whether you're a seasoned cockatiel owner, or just considering bringing one home, this video is packed with valuable information. Stick around, and let's unlock the secrets to a happy, and chirpy cockatiel companion. Cockatiels are social creatures who need a lot of attention and stimulation to be happy. Today, we will discuss five signs that your cockatiel is unhappy. If you're not sure if your cockatiel is happy, look for these signs. Feather plucking. One of the most apparent signs of an unhappy cockatiel is feather plucking. If you notice your bird excessively grooming or plucking its feathers, it could be a sign of stress or discomfort. Make sure to provide a comfortable and clean environment and consider consulting an avian veterinarian for further advice. Loss of appetite. A sudden change in your cockatiel's eating habits could indicate unhappiness. Monitor their food intake and ensure they're getting a balanced diet. If the problem persists, consult an avian veterinarian to rule out any health issues. Aggressive behavior. If your usually friendly cockatiel starts showing aggressive behavior, such as biting or hissing, it could be a sign that they're unhappy or stressed. Try to identify any changes in their environment or routine that could be causing this behavior and address them accordingly. Vocal changes. Cockatiels are known for their vocalizations and a sudden change in their sounds could indicate unhappiness. If your bird becomes unusually quiet or starts making distressed noises, it's essential to investigate the cause and make any necessary adjustments to their environment or routine. Lack of social interaction. Cockatiels are social creatures and a lack of social interaction can lead to unhappiness. If your bird seems disinterested in interacting with you or other birds, try spending more time with them and engaging in activities they enjoy. And there you have it. Those were five signs that your cockatiel might be unhappy. Remember, a happy and healthy bird is a joy to have around. So always be attentive to their needs. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. Can birds, just like humans, experience seasonal affective disorder, also known as SAD? Before we delve into the feathered world, let's refresh our memory on SAD. This mood disorder is triggered by the decreased sunlight hours during winter months. Symptoms can include fatigue, low mood, decreased motivation, and changes in sleep and appetite. Now, birds are creatures of habit and highly attuned to natural light cycles. So, it stands to reason that they might be susceptible to similar seasonal changes. So, how can we tell if our feathered friends are feeling down in the dumps? Here are some potential signs of SAD in birds. Decreased activity and vocalization. Birds who are typically playful and chatty might become lethargic and quiet. Changes in appetite. They might eat less or lose interest in their favorite foods. Overpreening. Birds might excessively groom themselves, sometimes leading to feather loss. Changes in sleep patterns. They might sleep more or have difficulty falling asleep. Aggressive behavior. Some birds might become irritable and lash out at their cage or other birds. If you notice any of these signs in your bird, don't panic, here are some ways to help them through the winter months. 
increase light exposure. Provide them with additional daylight hours, through full-spectrum lights, or a sunny window placement. Enrich their environment. Offer new toys, purchase, and foraging opportunities, to keep them stimulated. Maintain a regular feeding schedule. Ensure they have access to fresh food, and water, throughout the day. Social interaction. Spend extra time with your bird, talk to them, and play with them. Consult with a veterinarian. If you're concerned about your bird's health, or behavior, consult with a veterinarian, experienced in avian care. While further research is needed, the evidence suggests that birds can indeed experience SAD-like symptoms. By recognizing these signs, and implementing some simple changes, we can help our feathered friends thrive during the winter months. Remember, happy bird, happy life. Let's all do our part to ensure our avian companions feel loved and supported regardless of the season. While it is often difficult for bird owners to tell whether their pet is sick, as birds commonly hide signs of illness, it is even harder for most bird owners to tell if their pets are unhappy or stressed. Birds can certainly feel these emotions and hide them until these feelings become so extreme that they are manifested either physically or through behavioral changes. Birds can express unhappiness and stress in several different ways. Here are some five common signs of stress and unhappiness in pet birds. Aggression. The sudden onset of aggression in a pet bird can also indicate that the bird is experiencing stress in its environment. Aggressive behaviors such as biting, hissing, lunging, and excessive screaming can manifest almost overnight. If you notice this behavioral change in your pet, it may be a good idea to schedule an appointment with an avian vet to rule out any possible health problems. If your bird gets a clean bill of health, you can begin to figure out exactly what triggers the behavior and how you can adjust your bird's environment or routine to make it more comfortable. Decreased appetite. Birds that are so stressed that they are depressed may eat less and ultimately may lose weight. Since decreased appetite can also be a sign of medical disease, Birds whose appetites change should be thoroughly examined by a veterinarian to make sure they aren't hiding an underlying illness. Fear If a bird that is normally happy to be handled suddenly begins to act fearful of you or other family members, the person may be causing stress to the bird without even realizing it. It may not even be something that the person is doing directly to the bird. Something as simple as a brightly colored shirt, a hat, or a new beard or mustache can be a trigger for a bird's fearful behavior. Once you are able to identify a trigger, it is normally easy to remedy this sort of situation. If necessary, it is possible to condition a bird to eventually accept this sort of stressor through patience and practicing proper bonding techniques. Decreased vocalization. While screaming can indicate underlying stress or unhappiness in birds, so can decrease vocalization. Birds that suddenly start to vocalize less, may be stressed, unhappy, or bored. It is imperative that any bird who suddenly vocalizes less, be examined as soon as possible, to make sure that there is no medical cause for this change in behavior. Feather picking and self-mutilation. Another common sign of stress, and boredom in birds, is feather picking. It can occur in both large and small birds. It may be initiated by a stimulus, loud construction noise for example, but continue once the stimulus stops. Some birds will continue beyond self-picking into self-mutilation. They can chew on their skin, and some will dig even deeper into the muscle, or even bone. This can cause severe damage. Birds with these symptoms should be seen by a vet right away. They may be prescribed medication, and fitted with an Elizabethan collar, so they can't access their body.